Energy discharge confirmed. A sudden dispersion of charged particles followed by the requisite disturbance to the ionosphere. The origin has been narrowed down to the Amazonian basin. This is the third time in a game from another new location. No unusual solar flare spotted today either. The phenomenon is so localized. It has to be artificial in origin. Maybe it's an experiment or something. At any rate, the magnitude of this discharge seems larger than the others. Oh, it is. The good news is we've managed to get a fix on the origin point. Here's an image taken from a private satellite approximately five hours ago. Take a look. I don't see a thing. Of course, we all know it don't take much to alter photos these days. Right, Cammy? I'd have to agree there. And it goes beyond the surveillance photo. I can't say for certain that all of our data isn't being intercepted and altered as it comes in. But it's not just Delta Red that's affected either. Whoever's doing this has the wall pulled over the entire world's eyes. Something is out there. Something sinister operating from the shadows. But who could have the connections and reach to pull that off? Shadaloo, perhaps? But Shadaloo's history... Or so they say. I'm off then. The paperwork. We'll have to wait. That's right. The man you're looking for went missing three weeks ago. The family has requested a full investigation, but... Well, you know how these things go. In a small town like this, we simply don't have the manpower. Of course, I feel sorry for the family, but investigations like that cost money and require personnel. So, he was famous back home, was he? You know, he used to come here to give martial arts lessons. Bottom line, word came down from the brass. My hands are tied. Is there something going on I should know about? I mean, Interpol visiting this little bird? What if I told you this was happening all over the world? Would that satisfy you? Judging by the look on your face, I'd say we hit another dead end. Don't let it get to you. We're bound to find something eventually. Boy, you sound like a cop. Ever consider spending your time off with your wife? Oh, I thought you gave up police work yourself, and here you are doing this. <laughs> Birds of a feather, huh? <laughs> You're still not over Charlie, are you? I only heard about the string of disappearances by coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my head once I did. That's when I called you. Figured you might know something. Fighters from around the world disappearing seem to be up your alley. It all started last year. Famous martial artists just started vanishing. The only thing they have in common is that each is considered the top practitioner in his or her respective art. That and absolutely no evidence is left behind following any of the abductions. It'd be easy to assume an open and shut case of kidnapping, but there have been no ransom demands. That was suspicious enough to get Interpol involved, and that's when I put the badge back on. Actually, there are forces within Interpol that want this investigation stopped. They say there's no evidence to link the disappearances. They consider this a waste of resources. <laughs> well, no naysayer is gonna stop us, right? Once you start talking about fighters from around the world, well, that just brings a lot of stuff floating back up to the surface. Like Shadowloo. There's no evidence that Bison and his men are really dead. Oh, I hope to God they are. Still, I won't believe it till I see it. Not after what I've been through. I know what they're capable of. They're still alive. I know it. And if they're still alive, they're probably behind this, right? <laughs> your disappointment, sir. I'm sorry. No matter. This weapon's true value won't become evident until we manage to shrink it down and make it commercially viable. For now, let's consider this but a preview to drum up interest. Let it bring people to our little party, loosen their pocketbooks a bit. Don't you agree? Well, if we're to perfect the device, we'll need him. Ah, uh, I 
know this one. He practices an art that was initially developed for assassination. But there should be another that is even more powerful than him. We aren't after him for his fighting style. You see, if our theories are correct, he possesses a power within that, if awakened, eclipses even that of the other. That power is called Satsui no Hado. And this power would allow us to bring the Bliss Project to fruition? Yes, sir. Satsui no Hado. The murderous intent. Interesting. has a teleconference scheduled for 11.30. Representatives from the Pacific Rim Exposition will be sitting in the room. I'm sure you're busy, Mr. Masters, but allow me to introduce myself. My name's Maya. I'm a freelance journalist. I'm sorry, but all interviews must be scheduled in advance. I'd like to get a comment regarding the rising price of crude oil. What is the Master's Group doing to combat this? <laughs> Didn't you hear the lady? No appointment, no interview. Hmm, Ken Masters. The greatest American fighter and top dog of the business world. I have to say, Mr. Masters, I had you pegged all wrong. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected you to get so worked up over a sudden visitor. I thought you fighters were supposed to be more laid back. <laughs> That's cute. You're not used to rejection, are you? <laughs> I wonder if your friend Ryu is in the habit of turning people away if they don't have an appointment. You may have studied alongside him, but I'd say you're worlds apart. I'll be going now. I'll be sure to make an appointment next time so your precious rules are protected. Ryu, what are you up to these days, friend? Still lost in your own head? We both knew that our last battle wouldn't be the one to settle the score. That fight can only take place once we both truly found ourselves. I know that the Satsui no Hado lurks within you like cancer, tempting you to throw away your humanity for unlimited power. But you managed to make even that burden almost noble. You know, Ryu, I have trouble even relating to you as a fighter these days. I'm in a whole different world now. Career, family... Don't get me wrong, it's not like they're a burden. Still, the more I live this life, the more I forget what it means to be a warrior. Time just keeps passing, and I feel like I'm running in place. <laughs> Listen to me go on about my stupid problems. Whatever. What's the point? 
I suppose I've always seemed kind of trivial to a guy like you, Ryu. After all, I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I didn't have to work for this. It's me. About today's schedule. Squeeze in as much as you can. I'm ready to work. I think we got it. This is definitely where the energy discharge took place. So they did alter the images. Well, this isn't a natural depression, that's for sure. Looks like something heavy was sitting here. And jeez, look at all the dead animals, eh? You see them on the way out here? Bag them up. Let's take a few corpses for analysis. Captain! What's the matter? The ground here felt a bit soft, so I thought I'd do some digging to see why. Human bodies. How long must you continue to resist, boy? Until my last breath. Why do you resist the power within? I don't desire power. I have my sights set higher than that. What is it you seek, then? Ah, but you have no answer. Seeking anything but power is foolishness of the highest order. The blood flowing through your veins calls out to you. Answer it. Answer it with your life. No! Then I shall murder you myself! This mundane world is of no concern to us. We grow stronger by consuming human life. Enough! <laughs> I don't know anything about my birth. My earliest memories are of Master Gotetsu and Master Gokin. I remember Akuma training with them. He was strong. Stronger than the others. All he cared about was power. Then one day, he murdered Master Gokin. I must defeat Akuma. However, I can't allow myself to become like him in the process. But what can I do? All my blood and sweat and training brings me no closer to finding my true purpose. Keeping my urges under control takes all the power I can muster. I don't know how long I can resist. Ken! I'll just be a minute. Thanks. You're Eliza Masters. I interviewed your husband the other day. He's a great man. You saw Ken? How was he? Did he seem to be in good spirits? Oh, I mean, he's just been so busy lately. I don't really get to see him so much. Yeah. You feel like a cup of coffee or something? Just us girls? Delta Red is on the case. Apparently, there's a series of large-scale secret experiments occurring all over the world. Yeah, Cammy hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> That's right. We found ten so far. And it gets worse. The victims' identities came as quite a surprise. And a surprise it was. I don't know how or why, but the fighters we're tracking down ended up dead. They'd been abandoned in a shallow grave in the middle of a jungle. The Kami didn't just call to give us a shock. 
Even if they determine the bodies to be those of the missing fighters, not even Delta Red Intelligence can figure out just how they got there. The big picture is still a mystery. Tammy, about those animal corpses you collected, we've examined them thoroughly and... This is just incredible! Never seen anything like... Get on with it. Oh, okay. Are you ready for this? Some of the victim cells seem to have actually exploded. It's as if the moisture inside of them was suddenly heated, uh, causing it to boil. It's, it's freaky stuff. I just... I haven't actually reported this up the chain of command just yet. <laughs> For some reason, I get the feeling it'd be swept under the rug if I did. The Army and the FBI are suspiciously reluctant to help. I don't have connections in the CIA, but I imagine they're in the same boat. If even Interpol and Delta Red's intelligence is being manipulated and controlled behind the scenes, there must be a huge organization responsible for all this. To tell the truth, we did have an investigation going at one point. I even had some leads, but... We'll get to the bottom of this. Too many people have been hurt already. Beautiful doll, madam. Thank you. Isn't it just adorable? A friend gave it to me. She's a journalist. Well, I bet your husband will think it's cute as a button. He's so busy these days. I hardly ever see him. Still, we should talk soon. Contact your boss, right now! I've got a message for him. I don't appreciate being toyed with. You're gonna have to show a little more faith. You're regarded as a capable soldier. Is my speaking directly to you not sufficient to show my trust in you? If you do trust me, you'll call off your lapdogs and let me operate in peace so I can concentrate. I can do that, but are you sure you're barking up the right tree? I distinctly recall ordering you to track down Ryu, not Ken Masters. The time it would take to blindly search for a wandering vagabond like Ryu is a luxury I can't afford. The fact that you have so many others on the case tells me you're aware of that much. What we have to do is wait for him to show up. If he's going to stay in touch with anyone, it's masters. Their friendship and rivalry run deep. Sorry, friend. If I'd have died before you, perhaps my body could have sustained you a bit longer. O 
all of mankind holds a power within. The power of life. This force is fragile, but eternal. Life begets more life, and the cycle continues. This force, this power, is what drives it all. But what is power? Looks like an ordinary ruined castle at first glance. But security's too tight for that to be the case. Only one way to find out for sure. <laughs> Missing American karate champ. That's enough. On it. What is this place anyway? Looks like a laboratory. But what are they researching? They're on to us. We'd better move. All right, let's go. Chun Li! Give me a sec. So we lost another one. Just what was going on there, anyway? And who's responsible? Clearly, these fighters are being used in some kind of strange experiments. Boiling liquid, expanding cell, explosion. Bleas. Exploding cells? Gads of dead animals in the Amazon exhibiting that sort of damage. I'm no scientist. This stuff's way over my head. Do you suppose there's a connection to the missing fighters? Oh my god. Ryu! What? It can be postulated that the completion of the Bleece project hinges on the system harnessing the Satsui no Hado, a power that lies dormant in this particular subject. Without him and his power, Bleece can never achieve its full potential. Harnessing the Satsui no Hado? Madness. Well, at least we know now that Ryu is going to be their next target. Let's get moving. We have to find him before they do. But... How are we supposed to find him? Ugh. He never stays in one place for long. Well, if anyone knows where Ryu is... It's Ken. That's right! I bet he can find him! Wait. What if we're not the only ones to come to that conclusion? Hey, baby. <laughs> For a second there, I thought my secretary followed me home. What's up? Are you okay? Never mind. You look so tired. <sighs> you know, we really haven't talked lately, have we? I'm sorry, baby. I haven't forgotten about you. Well, who are you trying to forget, then? Huh? You. The you standing in front of me right now. You're not the Ken Masters I fell in love with. When I first met you, you used to be so laid back and carefree. You were always smiling. But you've changed. You've gotten so melancholy, so serious. It's almost like you're trying to chase someone out of your heart. Tell me what's going on. I think you give me way too much credit. I was never carefree. I was always serious. Is that what you really want to say? No. I just... <clears throat> huh? Stay here. I should hope so! That's what I pay them for! You did sneak in, you know. 
Oh god, I am uptight. Mom? I ran straight here from the airport, so I'm a little later than I expected. Anyway, I think you should hire some strong security guards, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess this place is pretty safe since you're here, Ken Sean. Anyway, to what do I owe the pleasure of your unannounced visit, Sakura? <clears throat> well, I'm trying to track Ryu-san down. Ryu? Please tell me where he is. Look, I don't know where he is. Heck, I figure his stalker ought to know better than anyone. Well, I don't. That's why I came here. So deal. So, why do you need to see him all of a sudden? Hello. From Chung Lee. Put her through. Hey, long time no see. What's up? You're calling pretty late. Oh, you did? <laughs> Sorry. I've been really busy lately. Uh, I told my secretary to only let business calls through. I'm at home. Yeah? <laughs> You're looking for you. Uh. I've got no idea. Here? Now? <laughs> nah, it's cool. You can come by, but I'm a little busy right now. We'll talk when you arrive. <laughs> Jeez. Apparently, I'm Ryu's personal assistant now. Um, Kensan? Yeah? Have you heard about the disappearances? The fighters being kidnapped? What? So you haven't heard? Famous martial artists from all over the world are vanishing. You really didn't know about it? I figured all fighters would have heard about it by now. I've just been so busy lately. Tell me all about it. What's going on? <laughs> what do we got here? You some kind of karate man or something? Yeah. <laughs> something like that. I thought so. You know, I got a friend who's into that. He lives around here. You know him? He's the U.S. karate champ. <laughs> Actually, I do know him. We've sparred before. Your friend is quite a fighter. Sure is. Wasn't enough to help him. He went missing all of a sudden last year. Haven't heard from him since. Left behind a young wife. She moved on. Found a new man and got the heck out of Dodge. I haven't given up looking for him, though. I really don't know all the details. No one knows what happened to the victims or where they are. The rumor just started circulating pretty recently. From what I hear, though, the disappearances started last year. All the victims are really famous. No amateurs. Everybody's talking about it lately. It's big news. I hadn't heard. That's not true. I just wasn't listening. Damn it! That must be what Chung Lee was getting at on the phone. If she's involved, this is no ordinary kidnapping case. Something's up. That's why I'm so worried about Ryu-san! I don't know where he is, or what he's up to, or anything. He's my friend, too. Chung Li and the others should be here soon enough. We can figure out what to do when they arrive. Looks like I won't be in the office for a while. It's me. A truck driver? Huh? Karate man? Ryu gave him my number. Okay, put him through. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is Ken Masters. Uh huh. Oh, so you're looking for your missing friend. And Ryu told you that I might know something, right? So, where did you meet Ryu anyway? I've located Ryu. Get everything ready. Begin preparations for Plan B, just in case. <laughs> Ch 
Chung Lee. Listen, we found out where Ryu is. It turns out he's a lot closer than you think. What am I doing here? I guess the nostalgia of hearing about a former opponent got the better of me. And now, here I am, chasing ghosts. He left his family behind when he disappeared. I couldn't imagine him doing something like that. Face to face. I'd like to test your abilities if you don't mind. I suppose you're feeling a little confused right now. I would be, but I've known about you for a long time. <laughs> you know, I was really hoping to meet you under better circumstances. Oh, wow! Such power. You're no ordinary fighter. Well, having fun? Ready to show me what you can really do? Hold it right there! Don't fight her. She's testing you. Trying to bring out your true power. I don't know who you are, but I know what you want. Kimmy, stop! She's too strong for you! What? Quite a fashion statement, no. There's only one like it, and it's mine. <laughs> There's a lot at stake here. I'll do what I have to to win. Kimmy, wait! <laughs> <laughs> What'll it be, Ryu? This poor girl's about to die. Aren't you going to save her? <laughs> Don't do it! If you fight now! Make your choice! Stop!
Jamie's condition is stabilized. Luckily, none of her vital organs were injured. <sighs> this is my fault. I shouldn't have let her go ahead of us by herself. Okay. Tell me everything you guys have figured out so far. We managed to get our hands on a research brief detailing a new weapon. The report is addressed to an emerging arms manufacturing corporation called SIN. SIN? I've heard of them. They've grown like a weed for the past few years. But there's all sorts of rumors linking them to crime syndicates. I'm pretty sure their CEO is named Seth. Seth... something. This is SIN's latest weapon, its code name Blease. The weapon isn't chemical, biological, or nuclear. It's powered by energy found within the human body. This spiritual energy is what you might call key. The Blease device provides a method of harnessing human energy to cause a cyclical chain reaction. This energy is artificially extracted from the subject and amplified via the device. The resultant pulse resonates within the victim, causing the mitochondria to overflow with excess kinetic energy. The moisture within living tissue begins to boil, causing an expansion that detonates the cells from within. What a fantastic invention it is. It uses the energy inside living things against the very form of life from whence it came. It's clean, it's simple, it's elegant. When this device is shrunken down for commercial manufacturing, it will only become a bigger threat. Once miniaturized, the device can actually be implanted inside subjects, allowing them to harness their key to cause massive destructive effects. The subjects can easily plant themselves in any crowd and be undetected. The implications this could have on terrorism are frightening. It can be thought of as a way to augment the natural key energy we all hold within. Essentially, it could give anyone powers that resemble the Satsui no Hado. A new breed of undetectable assassins will rain destruction down upon civilization. The missing fighters were used as guinea pigs for their research. Their mastery of Ki made them the perfect fodder for their tests. SIN's goal is to get their hands on Ryu, who they regard as the ultimate test subject. I cannot overstate my supreme disappointment. You had Ryu in your sights, yet you come back to me without even a single shred of data to further our research. Betrayal saddens me. How do you suppose I should deal with this sadness? Maya, was it? Plan B was devised precisely for situations such as this. That said, the plan will require a few adjustments. If we cause the Satsui no Hado to manifest itself in Ryu again, we won't be able to touch him. We know that now. 
Therefore, I propose that the CEO himself grace us with his participation. You strike me as a curious man. I'm sure you'd like a chance to see what Ryu is capable of, first hand. Cut the games. Who are you? Why did you fight Ryu? Do you work for SIN? So you'll come? I mean, your wife's here already. May as well join her, right? <laughs> Eliza! No, I didn't even notice she was gone. <clears throat> Tell me what you want. It's yours. What I want? Quit screwing around! You kidnapped her! I know it! She wouldn't just leave without telling me. Well, you're just a little know-it-all, aren't you? How well do you really know your wife? How many hours did you spend talking with her this week? Would minutes be more appropriate? Didn't you notice anything on your mantle that wasn't there before? <laughs> doll, isn't it? What are you getting at? Your wife is my guest, Ken Masters. She came here of her own free will. Fine. So I just have to show up at your little shindig, right? That's all you want? Well, that's not all I want. You're going to bring Ryu along for the festivities. Do I make myself clear? Damn it! They want Ryu in exchange for Eliza. No, if I hadn't beaten up your security guards. It's not your fault. This one is all me. So, what's the plan? I doubt the police would be any use to us. And we can't just hand Ryu over to them. You got that right! Ryu isn't going anywhere! I'll rescue Eliza myself! No. I'll go. Ryu. If they're after my power, then the only way to put a stop to their plan is to keep it under control, right in front of them, so they know I can do it. Can you pull that off? You just worry about Eliza. Hmm. Sounds good. You can count on our help, too. <laughs> Have a seat. You tricked me. <laughs> Hold it right there. Who are you two? The agency sent us to help with the party. We're the entertainment! <laughs> Wait a second. You sure this ain't some kind of mistake? I didn't hear nothing about hiring no girls. The only mistake is you two not knowing when to shut up! Well then. Ready for a little extra credit? called in a favor to an old Coast Guard buddy. Help is on the way. In the meantime, teach those goons a lesson. Let's split up. I'll go after Eliza. You take care of the bad guys. Yeah! Yeah! 
I'll be fine here on my own. You two go join the others. Well, look what the cat dragged in. I suppose whoever's fighting the guards right now are the same ones who stole the data from our facility? Not that I care, mind you. No matter who else you brought with you, my intuition tells me that Ryu's here. That's all that matters. Where's Eliza? Take a hike, Blondie. I don't need you anymore. Where is Eliza? Out of my way! Out of you. Your wife is right inside that room. <clears throat> Ryu might possess an incredible power, but you're no slouch yourself. Good luck, Mr. Masters. Sorry to keep you waiting, babe. <laughs> Took a little while to get dressed. <laughs> Love the red. That outfit always did look great on you. <laughs> Let's go. This place gives me the creeps. Is it okay for me to exert myself like that? I mean... Would running hurt the baby? <laughs> when did you find out? Jeez, I didn't even know. I'm sorry. I just wanted to surprise you. I'm so sorry. It's my fault, for not giving you a chance to bring it up. Hell of a sense of timing you got there, though. I love you so much, Eliza. I just realized the strength that can come from wanting to protect someone you love. I guess that's my special power. I don't need Satsuino Haro, or anything else. Not when I have so much to look forward to. <laughs> You're gonna be a godfather, are you? A good portion of life is spent wondering why. There are all manner of things that defy understanding. Most of the time, it is difficult to determine where to begin looking for reason. No matter the circumstances, your presence here was not inevitable. On top of that, my presence here was far from a foregone conclusion. Yet here we are. Why do you suppose that is? My apologies for the late introduction. I am Seth. I simply could not resist the chance to test out the legendary power you possess, myself. You struggle against the temptation of that power. It must be torture!
Some questions must be asked. Some situations faced head on. Surely you, who are most at home in the ring, find this power inside to be a great temptation. <laughs> and yet you struggle in vain against it, even as it seeks to control you utterly. Why do you fight it? Why? Keep it inside and you will die! Your death will garner nothing! It will be without meaning! Uh, Stay back! Power only has meaning if it is put into action. It defines you. Power like that is what rules the world. Everyone seeks power, seeks to grow in strength. But this goal is out of reach of ordinary men. The poor seek riches, the ugly, beauty. We compare ourselves to others and seek to cover our own inadequacies to find peace of mind. The mere existence of those who are better than us becomes intolerable. We fight in retaliation. If beauty is not enough, we use money. If money does not work, we resort to violence. This energy is what powers our world. It is essential! All I seek is to help this natural process along. This destructive force begotten from conflict. This power that everyone lusts for. I will spread it over the world with but a touch. It is like a well that can never run dry. A precious mineral flowing from an inexhaustible mine! <laughs> this power will be mine. <laughs> Stubborn mule. You avert your eyes from the power within and refuse to fight. That may offer you a modicum of empty solace when faced with your pitiful frailty, but no more. Pathetic. Despite the power you possess, you will become a disposable test subject no different from the others. I'm not through fighting, and I do not run from the power I hold within. I too seek strength. That's what has driven me all this way. And yet, I never truly understood just what power is or what it means to be strong. Your words did help me to understand one thing. The power I seek is nothing like what you describe. The power humans possess, that is the source of and destination for all of life. The power you're after is the opposite of this. It can only destroy that which is good. To seek it invites your own demise. That is why I fight. I fight to rid the world of such diabolical power. I'll show you what true strength is. It is the courage to stand up in the face of evil and emerge victorious. <laughs> what is this nonsense? Power is power. There is no difference. <laughs> Here's your answer. Let go! What have you done? Could this happen? You actually hurt me! 
my body. They're getting away. <laughs> I bring you a message from Lord Bison. You put on a fantastic show. You! He's been watching you all along. He has another message for you as well. SIN success has come only through the manipulation of Shadowloo working behind the scenes to ensure your good fortune. He wanted you to know that. Ken, did you see that? I... I saw it all right, bro. That was amazing. You really let your true power shine through. Thanks for coming to see me off, Ken-san. I really wanted to stick around until Ryu's song gets better. But tickets are really cheap right now, so I had to jump at the chance. I am a student, you know. <laughs> I'm not made of money. Oh, that's right! My friend gave me some chocolates she got on a trip to Hawaii. Want some? They're really good! Even with all that evidence, we're right back where we started. The cover-up is so vast, even the dispatch of the Coast Guard has been officially denied. It feels like we're being treated as the enemy, instead of the real threat. The abduction and murder of the fighters, the connection to Shadowloo, it all goes unpunished. The evil is still out there. <sighs> Bison. You may think you have the upper hand, but the truth is that S.I.N. has been manipulating Shadaloo. Fool. It's me. About that new power Ryu displayed for us the other day. Say no more. I'll resume the search right away, sir. Excellent job, Crimson Viper. Your report was more than satisfactory. Keep this up and we should know everything there is to know about SIN's activities. Undercover work is no picnic. We know you've been through hell already. But there is simply no one else as suited to this job as you. Now please understand. Once the CIA has the information we need, we can bring SIN to justice. Don't worry about me, sir. I understand my mission. What's the matter, Ryu? Hmm? It's just that bird. Oh. Looks like he got separated from the flock. Yeah. Maybe. I guess this is goodbye. Thanks. But... Why are you headed out the train anyway? I mean, you've already proven you can keep the Satsui no Hado under control. 
That may have been an exception. I'm not sure I can do it every time. It took an incredible amount of concentration. <laughs> I'm still nowhere near finished with my training. Jeez. I guess there's no arguing with you. Go if you have to. Go to places the rest of us can only dream of. I wish you well. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll meet again. I'm looking forward to seeing how strong you've become by then. You and I may travel down different roads, but our life force is one and the same. I'm sure our paths will lead to the same destination. Ah, oh, we'll meet again. I guarantee it. <laughs>